Okay, I'm going to try to show you how to do clue number two with the Burnett Waverly Mystery Blanket Knit Along. I'm just going to cast on seven stitches so that I can do it quickly for you and show you how those stitches work. Anyway, we can do a long tail cast on here. There's my first stitch. Second. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Now I'm ready to do my first row, and the first row is just knit. So this will be easy. And just get this camera where I can knit in front of it. <laughs> uh, you can't see that. That's no good. Let's try this. <clears throat> I'm just going to have to sneak around here with my needle. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> yeah. We'll wrap that. Pull that up through there. Man, this is impossible. Okay, I'll just have to do it this way. Wrap it there. Bing! Stick it in the next stitch. Wrap it. Pull it through. There's another knit. So these are just all knit stitches. First row is the hardest, of course. Sorry, my thumb is getting in the way. It's the only way I can get it worked through the loop. But you guys already know how to do the knit stitch. So I'm not too worried about that. So there's my first row of all knit stitches. Now it's time for the next row. Now for this one, you start off with one knit stitch. Don't forget that one knit stitch, or you might have a hole. <laughs> so do your one knit stitch. Ta-da! Now, you can do a knit one below. So to do a knit one below in this stitch, you um, have your normals placed there where you would knit, but we're not going to do that. We're going to knit the row below. So just go underneath that little loopy thing here from the stitch before and go all the way through. Now when you go through, you see that loopy thing, right? And do you see how there's like a little hole down here underneath it? That's where you're going. You just go straight through that hole. So in through there. And see it's like it's um, down below the needle. When I go through that hole, I'm going down below the needle. Then I wrap it. And I pull it through. Now when I pull it through, I'm going to come up through that little spot where I just came up. Take everything off. That's your knit one below. Now we've got a purl. So bring the yarn forward. And do your purl. Wrap. And you push the yarn forward and take it off. Now we're ready for a knit one below. Take the yarn back. Go under that loop there. Wrap it. Pull it through. Ta -da! Bring the yarn forward. Do your purl stitch. Take the yarn back. Do your knit one below. Bring the yarn forward and do your purl. And you're ready for your next row. The next row is just knit. So I'm going to do it kind of quick if I can. It's going to be a little further away. But it's just easier for me to hold the needles like this. These are all just knit.
Start with just a plain old knit stitch, then knit one below. Here's what you do when you do that loop again, all the way through the fabric. There we go. Bring the yarn forward, do a purl, take the yarn back, knit one below. Bring the yarn forward, purl. Take the yarn back, knit one below, bring the yarn forward, and purl. Now we're ready to knit again. And when you look on the knit side, you'll see that here's where you're starting to get those fat loopy stitches. This is the shaker rib side, the right side. The wrong side's back here where you had to do the knit one below and the pearls. So here we go back to the knit side. The knit side is the right side. Knit every stitch. And it's always good to count just in case, just to make sure you haven't added any stitches. That's three. Here goes four. Five, six, seven. Okay, time for that crazy row again. The knit one below. So we do a knit and a knit one below. Bring the yarn forward. And do a purl. Take the yarn back, knit one below. Bring the yarn forward, purl. Here's the last knit one below I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my time with it. Can you see that little hole? That's where you're going through for your knit one below. You just go all the way through the whole fabric. You see that? Wrap it and bring it back through that hole. Take everything off. We end that right with a pearl. So now even more you can see what the wrong side fabric looks like. And when you flip over here to the all knit stitch row, you can see a little bit better what the right side fabric looks like. And a loopy, big old loops there. So that's how you do clue two for the Burnett Waverly Mystery Blanket Knit Along. Have fun in the forum. See you guys later. Bye.